California has launched a significant lawsuit against ExxonMobil, accusing the oil giant of perpetuating a decades-long deception regarding the recyclability of plastics it produces. The state's attorney general, Rob Bonta, alleges that the company has misled the public for over 50 years, claiming that the plastics it manufactured were recyclable. Despite knowing that less than 5% of plastic is actually repurposed into new products in the U.S., the lawsuit aims to expose this environmental dishonesty and hold the company accountable for its role in exacerbating the global plastic pollution crisis. The lawsuit was filed after an investigation that Bonta's office initiated in April 2022, which revealed previously hidden documents about ExxonMobil's deceptive marketing tactics. These documents suggest that ExxonMobil knew the challenges associated with plastic recycling, including the fact that plastic degrades into harmful microplastics that are almost impossible to eradicate from the environment. Despite this knowledge, the company continued to push the narrative that plastics could be effectively recycled, encouraging consumers to purchase more plastics without concern for their environmental impact. The lawsuit also emphasizes that while consumers diligently recycle plastic, the items often end up in landfills or the ocean, worsening pollution instead of reducing it. Bonta, along with several environmental groups that filed a similar lawsuit, argue that ExxonMobil's misinformation is part of a broader strategy aimed at driving up the company's profits. By promoting a false sense of environmental responsibility, they allege ExxonMobil created a demand for more plastic products. The end goal is to drive people to buy, 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 and to drive ExxonMobil's profits up, 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 Bonta said in a press conference, highlighting the company's financial motivations behind the deception. ExxonMobil, however, has pushed back against the lawsuit, with spokesperson Lauren Kite blaming California for the failure of its own recycling systems. In response to the allegations, Kite stated, for decades, California officials have known their recycling system isn't effective. They failed to act, and now they seek to blame others. The company has also defended its promotion of advanced recycling or chemical recycling, which it claims is a more efficient way of turning plastics into new materials. The state, however, argues that advanced recycling only accounts for 8% of plastic recycling, far below the company's claims. ExxonMobil continues to assert that these methods work and that the state's recycling infrastructure is to blame for the failure to keep plastics out of landfills and oceans. The lawsuit comes at a time when other major U.S. cities, states, and even Washington, D.C. have filed legal actions against oil and gas companies, holding them responsible for climate change and environmental damage. California itself has been a leader in such efforts, having previously sued other large oil and gas companies for allegedly deceiving the public about the risks of fossil fuels. The case against Exxon Mobil centers on violations of California's nuisance and unfair competition laws, with the state seeking civil penalties and the establishment of an abatement fund to mitigate the harm caused by plastic pollution. Bonta hopes the lawsuit will compel ExxonMobil to end its deceptive practices surrounding recycling and acknowledge the harm it has caused to both the environment and the public. The lawsuit was filed just one day after Governor Gavin Newsom signed a statewide ban on plastic shopping bags, underscoring California's commitment to reducing plastic waste. While the state faces an uphill battle in proving its claims under public nuisance law, a notoriously complex area, legal experts suggest that the evidence could be compelling, especially given the documents revealed in Bonta's investigation. As this case makes its way through the courts, it stands as part of a broader movement to hold corporations accountable for their environmental impact and the misleading narratives they use to shield their practices from scrutiny. If successful, the lawsuit could have far-reaching implications for other plastic manufacturers and oil companies, potentially opening the door to more lawsuits and stricter regulations on plastic production and recycling. For consumers who have long believed in the efficacy of plastic recycling, the revelations from this lawsuit may come as a shock. Bonta's office emphasized that many people have been misled for years, placing trust in recycling programs that, in reality, have been far less effective than advertised. This is a revelation to many, Bonta said, 
after years and years of a belief that is untrue because they were lied to by ExxonMobil about the myth of recycling. As the case progresses, it will likely raise questions not only about ExxonMobil's practices, but about the broader role of corporations in creating and perpetuating environmental myths to protect their bottom lines. Thank you.